biting puppies, sharp teeth, and how to deal with it. Hi, my name's Charlie Thorburn. Welcome to Mordor Gun Dogs. On this week's video, we're gonna answer a, a, a request we've had from a lot of people, which is to talk about puppy biting. People are like, oh, my puppy's biting me. I don't know what to do. I've got all these scratches. Puppies bite. You see this little sweet little, you know, young, what is she, 10 weeks old, eight, nine weeks old Labrador puppy. You think, oh, she, how's she ever gonna bite? But she's, she is. If you watch her with her siblings, they're playing, they're ragging, they're tagging, you know, they're pulling each other around. They're pretty vicious, to be honest. Um, it's part of their growing up. It's like little kids. Now, there's not really any way to stop them biting you because it's, they're teething, they're wanting to, you know, use their mouth, they're wanting to get into kind of things, they're wanting to chew, and you can substitute your arm and things with a, um, with a chew toy and various other things. But ultimately, you have to figure out when the times are that they're at their worst, when the times are that they're about to start doing it, um, and you've got to preempt all of this. You've also got to be thinking um, about how you react when the puppy bites. And the really simple answer is if I'm sitting here and, and this puppy starts biting me, which of course, because I'm trying to video her and she's not gonna bite me because that's just, you know, never work with children or animals because they don't perform when you want them to. So she's not gonna start biting me. But if she started to bite me now, I would literally just pop her on the ground and I would stand up and I'd walk away. So the reaction from me to her, every time she starts ah, gnawing on my fingers, is I just stand up and walk away. People try and say no, they try and say leave it, they try and give the dog something else. If you're very, very clear with a young dog that every time they start doing an unwanted behavior, they're not gonna get your attention anymore, it fixes it really quite quickly. Now, some people will then say to me, oh, but when I walk off, the puppies then got me by my trousers and, um, Yes, it might well do so, in which case you have to just move quicker, you have to get into another room, you have to put them in their cage, you have to do something so that it stops them getting into this habit of thinking that biting you is fun, biting your children is fun and attacking you, that's all part of their day, because they're not doing it out of malice, they're really not. They're doing it because it's, they want to play, they're, they're desperate to be with their siblings who would, they would be like, gnawing on their ears and just generally having fun. I mean, we've seen them getting each other by the tail and one of them's pulling that way and one of them's pulling this way and the poor puppy in the middle's howling and then two seconds later, the puppy in the middle's up and it's got one of them on their back. You know, it's just, it just is what it is. There are times of the day when they do this. There's the witching hour. There is the witching hour, definitely. So many people ring me and speak to me and they go, oh, you know, and I, what, and I say, well, what time is it? And I say, and they go, oh, it's about, it's about 5.30, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever. If you know something is going to happen at a certain time of day, stop it happening by preventing it being able to happen. And what I mean by that is if you know at six o'clock your puppy's gonna start attacking you while you're on the floor trying to watch the TV or something, at, six, at five to six or at 10 to six, go and put your puppy in its crate with a bone or something. Change the, the routine. Don't have the puppy out knowing it's gonna bite, going, oh, I've got to stop it, it's got to learn. It's not gonna learn. You're just gonna break a bond with you and the puppy. The puppy's gonna cause scars and things all over your arm, and you're gonna be like, oh God, it's biting me, how do I stop it? And not only that, you're actually gonna make it a habit. The dog's gonna, your dog's gonna go, oh, at six o'clock every night, I play with mum and dad. They don't see it as biting, they're just seeing it as playing. I play with mum and dad, I get a bit aggressive, probably because I'm a bit tired, I'm a bit bored, I'm actually ready for my nighttime sleep. Then that's just what happens every day, whereas if you prevent it happening by popping them in their cage at 15, 10 minutes before that happens, then you're on a winner. But ultimately you can't stop them doing it. So you have to figure out how to have it happen as least as possible. Key things are is they are going to do it because they want to be with their siblings. I'll hopefully show you some footage of some of the other puppies playing and fighting. Um, you know, you'll see that that's just part of their, their life, like children playing in a playground. Um, there are certain times of day when they're gonna do it. So find those times of day, think about them, mark them down in a diary or in your phone or something and figure out, oh yeah, you know, every day at one o'clock they do it. Every day at around six o'clock or most days at around six o'clock they do it. It is generally in the evening. They've had a long day of being awake and they probably haven't had enough sleep because you probably haven't put them in their crate often enough. And they've just got this sort of angry kind of energy, tiredness all kind of building up together. Just put them away. Oh, but I want to spend the evening with my puppy. Tough, tough, it is what it is. You know, it's like saying, oh, I wanna spend the evening with my baby. Well, they need to go to bed. They need to have their sleep. It's not about you, stop being selfish. It's about the dog, it's about what's 
best for the dog and the times that are best for the dog. But all these things of kind of tapping it on the nose and trying to do that, it, it, they're just little babies. They just don't understand. They just don't understand that they're doing anything wrong because as far as they're concerned, they're not doing anything wrong. They're just feeding an, uh, a natural habit, a natural um, occurrence. If you watch lions playing as cubs, if you watch foxes playing as cubs, if you watch wolves playing as cubs, they all do it. All these animals all do it. If you watch your children playing in a playground, they all do it, they all play. They wrestle, they play, they, they run around, they kick balls. It's not something that we necessarily want to do as adults, but they want to do it, they need to do it. It's part of their development. So, as usual, prevention is better than cure. Plan ahead, and uh, remember, you get out what you put in. Thanks for watching.